What is going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be talking about my primary chest training for this hypertrophy block and uh, also my three-legged dog. Zeke, come here. Come here, bud. Come here. Ugh. This is Zeke, the new gym dog. He only has three legs. He's amazing and I love him. Hello. What is going on guys, Coach Show here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. If you are new to the channel, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, you subscribe, and uh, check out everything else we have to offer. So for those of you that have been along this journey, I've been doing hypertrophy training for the last, oh, couple months here, uh, but I really dove in the last several weeks, everything I have into it. So my primary goal is to get to the lowest body weight uh, and body fat percentage that I've been at. So I'm trying to get to about 230 pounds progressively, uh, just nice and steady downward, and then from there maintain, and then start gradually putting on mass. This is just a necessary process for me to hit the goals that I have planned for the future. It's gonna take some time, but I'm excited to document everything. I got RP crew, so Renaissance Periodization, uh, with Dr. Mike Isratel, we have Charlie, and then one of my friends, uh, Dave Smith, who is a competitive bodybuilder, kind of helping me with all of this, and I've talked about them in the other videos. So this is gonna be the chest uh, primary day, along with a couple other exercises uh, that I throw in there that I really enjoy. So the first exercise on the list is gonna be the close grip bench press. And we do four sets in that 10 to 15 range window. I uh, really like doing close grip bench. I always have, you've been following the channel for any period of time, you know I'm a huge fan of close grip bench pressing, uh, mainly for tricep development and carry over to the press, especially in strongman, we need to have a big press. Uh, but for this program, just trying to build the chest and triceps in general. Uh, really what we're trying to do here is keep the elbows nice and tight. We don't wanna flare out too much. And we just wanna pick a grip that feels comfortable and hits the uh, chest and triceps as much as possible. We wanna make sure that we are getting that full range of motion going all the way down, touching our chest and driving straight up. So pretty simple. Uh, I think I worked up to uh, 265. And just as a bonus, you were lucky that you get to see me almost die in this video. Yes, I didn't put spotting arms on it. For some reason, I thought that I could get one extra rep and my triceps pretty much completely gave out. I don't even think I locked it out. I just got lucky that the J cups were low enough for me to just throw the bar backwards. It was embarrassing. But you live and you learn, or you die and you don't. Just when you think you're there, there's always someone or something that's gonna make sure that you know you're not. Moving on to the next movement, if our triceps and chest weren't already fried, we have a skull crusher to close grip bench superset. So this is gonna be for three sets anywhere to that 10 to 15 rep window. Uh, now with these skull crushers, for me, I like to just go down and touch my skull. Sometimes people like to go back and touch the bench or maybe they go a little bit past the bench. It's totally up to you, but for me, just kind of setting a standard range of motion to touching my, my skull every time uh, it's just been something that has been working well. It also helps me with my elbows and my wrists. So do whatever works for you, but as long as you're following some sort of similar format to a skull crusher or heck, maybe even similar to a JM press, you're gonna accomplish the same stimulus that we're looking for here. Now, once we get to the proper fatigue, we are gonna bring our hands in closer and turn it right into a close grip bench for as many reps as possible. And uh, it just gets gnarly. It gets brutal. You're contemplating life and all its existence. And it's just a different type of burn. Like there's a burn you get basically in your soul. And uh, that's from doing heavy compound lifts. When you do hypertrophy, you get a burn so bad that 
it's like you can't do anything, but you just want to run and scream. And then it feels like there's a stick of dynamite inside that's blowing up consistently, but there ain't nothing you can do about it. Okay, now that we have just finished up obliterating our chest and our triceps, it's time to put a little bit of focus into the biceps. So we're going to do incline alternating dumbbell curls. Super simple, super effective. Biggest thing that I can say here is you want to get full range of motion. So we're kind of taking out any body uh, momentum here because we are against a bench. So we're gonna isolate those biceps as much as possible. And we wanna make sure at the bottom, we open our arm up all the way. And at the top, we are just getting that peak contraction. So we're gonna hit this bad boy for four sets, 10 to 15 reps per arm, and it is gonna get you pumped up like a balloon. And you may fly off into outer space because your arms are just so full of blood that you're gonna levitate because it makes sense, right? Last one, it's gonna sound as miserable as it feels, and it's gonna be a dumbbell. I guess it would be a super set, giant set. I don't know, it sucks. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a pair of dumbbells you're gonna stick with for each of these exercises. And the first thing you're gonna do is gonna be bent over rear delt flies. Okay, and we're doing these bent over rear delt flies. We're using no momentum from the body. Keep it very strict. Okay, once you have technical failure, you're going to stand up, you're gonna shake it out three to five seconds. You're gonna go right into lateral raises for the shoulders, okay? So we're bringing those out to the side. Same thing here, good consistent range of motion. If you wanna make it even more gnarly, you can add a little bit of a pause at the top. Once you have technical failure, meaning that your elbows start bending or you can't get to the same height every single time, you're gonna shake it out three to five seconds. You're gonna go right into dumbbell upright rows for as many reps as possible. Once you have technical failure there, you are done. You're gonna rest maybe two minutes and then go through this two more times. It sucks. You have to somehow find the enjoyment in this burn and this misery and agony as you just want to die. But it will be worth it because when you start walking through doors, you're gonna notice that the frames are starting to pop off and you're gonna be like, damn, I'm glad I listened to that guy. So that is pretty much the gist of this workout. It is pretty solid over round. We're getting a, you know, a little bit of full body in this bad boy. Lots of blood flow, lots of pump action, and uh, feeling good. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, comment down below. That means a lot. We also have a private Facebook group called the Iron Lions, where I go more in depth with the workouts that I'm doing. We do a lot of free form checks, articles, critiques, you name it. It's a great community for like-minded individuals. I encourage you guys to go check that out and become a part of that. It is growing and it's full of people that are just looking to help and get better in their strength journey. So that would be cool if you check that out as well. Uh, but until then guys, stay a lean, mean strength machine. Stay healthy, stay strong, and keep living your life to the fullest, baby.